Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? In today's video, I am going to be doing a Spitz review. This was long awaited. I have a ton to talk about. I'm going to review a product under a minute, hopefully. Um, and yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. If this is your first time passing by, I'm Gigi. I love to talk about luxury and high end makeup. If you love that content, click down there where it says subscribe and also come to my other socials for a little bit more. And without further ado, let's begin. So let's start with some bronzers. We're going to begin with Pop and Grab Blanche. So, of course, just released a few bronzers I picked up Nude Honey and Bronze Dawn this is the colors of course there are reviews on all these products if you are wondering you can just look up the product and my name and it'll pop up so this is Bronze Dawn and this is Nude Honey I've been loving Nude Honey so so much this is a more neutral shade as you can see this really blends nicely it really sculpts and bronzes me all at the same time somehow um, I have medium tan complexion and it works very good on me, but this is a buildable bronzer. This is one that I have to really layer to get the depth um, and the definition and the chisel look that I would like if I wanted, you know, to do that. Um, this shade here, Bronze Dawn, is a little bit more um red in tone is a little bit more of the sun kiss shade for me and this is also a layer bronzer so i do have to layer few you know few passes to get the opacity that i want so that's something to take a note of pamagrath formula they are very good very blendable they do apply beautiful to the skin they're very blurring and nice but you need to do a little bit of building up you know for the depth and the definition that you like this is a beautiful formula i've been loving them quite a bit hermes beauty release also bronzers i have the shade 3 sahara this is absolutely stunning it is one of my favorite bronzers that i've ever tried and that's saying a ton because i do own a lot of them i do love Hermes powder products. I love their blushes and now the bronzers are also a must-have in my collection. I absolutely love it. The formula is very, very soft, very silky. It lasts beautiful on the skin. It has beautiful pigmentation. It is also a buildable bronzer for me, so I have to do a few layers for it to show up how I want it. But I'm not bothered by that. Um, I mean, I've come to the conclusion that if I find the undertone of bronzer that I like, I'd rather build it up than just go with a deeper shade with an undertone that I don't like. This has a beautiful golden, um, you know, yeah, just golden undertone that I love in a bronzer and that's why this is perfection for me. Such a beautiful bronzer, such a stunning formula, such a beautiful and huge packaging. I absolutely adore this. So guys. now NARS released a talc-free option of bronzers and I picked up three shades I have here. Number three in the shade Laguna, which is actually my favorite one. I have also, what's this one? They do have mini sizes, which I appreciate. I have this one in shade 2 and I also picked up 4 so I have 2, 3 and 4 this is 3, this is 2 I love this bronzer also <laughs> these bronzers are good so so good they're talk free and they blend like a dream sometimes talk free options don't really blend out good or they don't look like a blurring girl these powders are finally melt like no other I feel like it is my favorite bronzer in my collection. If it's taken, every other bronzer is knock them all out. These are that good. I absolutely love shade 3. I have 4 already in my makeup bag upstairs. I love that they come in minis as well so you can get to try little guys. I love the packaging and yeah this formula is very good. It lasts very good on my complexion and this shade is specifically really you know just contours and bronzers at the same time which I really love. Last but not least Shintakai Sirena shade and this is one of my top bronzers and it has been for a minute mini I don't know maybe two three years their gel to powder formula is very very special this kind of formulation really lets you build up the product it's really long wearing it is really perfecting also on the skin this shade is new for their summer collection and it is very golden and very glowy beautiful every time I wear this I just feel like a goddess it is so so 
stunning. I love this shade. I love it so, so much. I have um, a video comparing these to the others in Shindekai's collection. If you're interested, I'll leave it up in the cards. But yeah, this is also a favorite. Really no fails in the bronzer department. They're killing the game. Next up, let's talk about this powder by Makeup Forever. I did pick up the medium version and the tan version. I decided to stick with the tan version. This is a finishing blurring powder. It has a very beautiful finish. So you twist up the powder like this and then just a little bit of the powder comes down into the bottom of it and then you just apply it as you please. You can use it to buff, you know, all over your face or you could just strategically um, use it to highlight the high points of your cheeks. I am absolutely obsessed with this powder. It is so blurring and perfecting to the skin. I'm not even kidding. Like it just blends, it just blurs, it just skin will look beautiful 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 with this powder um i've been loving it so much so tan is the the, the shade for me medium was just a little bit too light i like to use these mainly all over my face not so much underneath my eyes but yeah such a beautiful powder by makeup forever also in the bronzing department we have rare beauty good energy shade this is such a beautiful shade you guys i am absolutely obsessed like it, this is an understatement, like obsession, it is an understatement. This color is just a beautiful, it is perfect. It bronzes me, it sculpts me. The formula of these sticks by Rare Beauty, like she just killed it, killed it. Sunny Days is also a beautiful shade, but very, very warm. This guy is just perfect. I always found that Sunny Days was just too warm for me. Good Energy is my girl. Like, she is it. This is all that I want and more from a contour. Sorry, my hair is all over the place. This is all that I wanted. And, you know, this is all that I wanted Sunny to be. And now I have Good Energy and this is her. This is good. This blends like a dream. Um, it sculpts, it bronzes, it blends all by itself. It's just such such a beautiful bronzing stick like obsessed. so now there are blushes there are blushes to talk about for days so how are we gonna get through this you know quick let's begin with this palette by charlotte this is a re-release in her collection i talked about that i love these three shades the bronzer is still uh, a meh product for me it's still a little bit too hard to you know to pick up with the brush I yeah the bronzer is a disappointing product but the other three shades are so good like the highlighter is so so soft and pretty the other two shades are so beautiful and coral like this palette is so beautiful very easy to carry very cute you know um, color story for you know spring and summertime I really like it but the bronzer meh. NARS release their liquid blushes and I have two shades. I have um, a Dolce Vita, I feel like, and then this is Wonderlust. Uh, this is a product that is a little bit hard to work with, so you have to like really take the time. This is not an easy grab, you know? Um, you're rushing your grab, and yeah, these, I'll think about it twice, especially depending on the base that I'm wearing. If I'm wearing something very lightweight, very glowy and pretty, I could apply this without setting it with no problems. If I've set it my base, this is gonna pick up my foundation. When I review them, I it didn't pick up my foundation, but after trying it a bit more, it does. It does pick up my base, which I don't appreciate, and that's something to, you know, but I love it. It is a good product. It is very glowy. It blends out beautiful for a no makeup makeup day. It is beautiful. If you're not wearing any makeup and you want a little color to your cheeks, it's also beautiful that way. But if I'm doing like glam or or like heavy base and I'm breaking out and I want a cute blush glowy this isn't one that I'm going to be grabbing when I do have makeup but I want a beautiful glow I'll reach for this one by makeup by mirror they do look similar on the skin they're juicy these a little bit more pigmented they're a little bit more buildable these build up just like meh um, these guys they give you the glow they give you the pigment they 
the last until I take my makeup off. I have no issues with the longevity of these guys. I have these two shades which are beautiful, just peachy and perfect pink. And this is all that I want and need in my collection. I love the two shades that I picked up. I love these guys. They're so, so good. Again, super long wearing, so easy to work with. They don't pick up my base. They look glowy and healthy on my cheeks and they're just absolutely gorgeous. So these are new by Hermes Beauty in the shade Rose Grief. This is their new formulation, a iridescent formulation in their line. I love their blushes. They're very softening and blurring, but I did find that this one, because it has so much of that iridescent effect, it just looks a little bit weird on my, um, my texture skin. So on this side, I do get a lot of texture and these will tend to emphasize it because it is very, very glowy. Um, so this is one that I reach for when I want that glow, but I want something, um, but I'm not breaking out that much. So if I'm not breaking out and I don't have a ton of texture, then I, I love it. The color is beautiful. It is the same long wearing formula as the regular, but it's not as perfecting as the regular. So my skin is good. I am not like during that time of the month. This is something that I'll reach for because it has a beautiful glow. Now glowy blushes that do not emphasize that much the texture are this one by Valentino. These are one of my favorite blushes that I've ever tried. It's such a beautiful formula. They're so silky. They're absolutely stunning. I have shade four and I also have shade 10. I feel like the the colors are just so pretty. They're so easy to use. They're so easy to blend. The two shades that I have are very unique to my collection. You just see that glide. The formula is absolutely gorgeous. They're very glowy and very, very pretty on the skin. They don't act up. They last very good on the complexion. And again, they don't tend to overemphasize the texture that I have on my cheeks when I'm breaking out. So those Valentino blushes, so yeah, more liquid blush for you. This is a stain form. This one's by Huda Beauty. I have the shade a Rosy Kiss and Coral Keys. These are cute, very, very cute. I absolutely love it. I love, love the coral. And then this one for an everyday kind of, you know, kind of lover for my lips, but they're not hydrating whatsoever. So I do go over with a gloss and then I'm good to go. Uh, but you know, I don't mind it. The stain is very good up to, I don't know, like four hours until I eat is done on the chicks they last all day um, be warned that if your base is set so you already have powder on your base and you apply this it's okay it's not gonna pick up your base but you have to do one layer of the product or do two very quick because if you let it dry and then go with a second layer it is going to be picking up your base so know that if your base isn't set then that's no problem. So these two are very good, very beautiful products by Huda Beauty. I've been obsessed with them, but you need to be cautious on how to use them and just know that, you know, if you're, what I just said, if your base is already set, just do one light layer or do two very quick and you could Pink Essence Sunset by Charlotte Tilbury. Such a keeper, such a beautiful shade. It is so beautiful. Look at the pigment of her. I've been obsessed with these one. I've worn it so so good. It just it just looks beautiful. It is very very pretty. It is truly the sister of Pink Essence, but just deeper and richer. Absolutely stunning. I'm obsessed. I I love it. I just. I love it. I tried one of the Giorgio Armani blushes. These were meant to be the luminous blushes. Ah, I, I felt like it just got a little short. You know, it didn't get me to the luminosity that I was expecting. It does have some luminosity, but I was expecting Valentino luminosity. You know what I mean? Like this is the luminous silk. We all love the luminous silk line, right? So I felt like these just felt a little short. I picked up four and I never felt the need to go back for more because of that I feel like meh you know you need to be more glowy and beautiful but this is a good blush nonetheless the shade is actually stunning it is a very soft sorry about that it is a very soft and buildable shade I remember as I swatched that you need to really build up oh my god sorry about that you really need to build up the blush for the pigmentation but shade four is so yummy that watermelon shade that I've been obsessed with this is it is a beautiful shade and it is a beautiful 
beautiful blush, but I wish it was a little bit more glow. Another blush formula that I tried recently are these ones by Sephora. These were reformulated, and so I have all the reformulated. I never got to try the older ones, so I'm sorry about that. Um, these are so beautiful to you guys. These are puppy um, colors. These things have fascinated, and it just gives you very good pigmentation, you know? I love that the shades are very, very bright. I love how they blend on the skin. Some of them have a little bit of glow. Like look at these two colors and some are a little bit more matte. I think, I think this fuchsia is a matte formula, but these are so nice, you guys. For the price, it can really be bit if you're looking for good pigmented blushes that don't overemphasize, you know, texture and they last very good on the skin. These Sephora collection, like look no further. They're absolutely stunning. I love those three shades that I got and I went for more when this sell was going on and I feel like yeah I want to explore more because they're so cute I love the love blushes I didn't try them recently but I did want it to just wrap up because I picked up every single shade during this sale I absolutely love them these are toll free these are such a good pigmented blush the lighter shade which is I feel like this one pomelo peach is beautiful but I do have to build it up a little bit more so the deeper the shade the less building up that I need to do but these still shows up very very pretty I love Love. I love the shades. They're very blurring, very long wearing on, you know, the chicks. They have very good formula. They have hydrating, you know. I think these ones have Arnica and all that good stuff. So those blushes by House Labs are very good. I also picked up this guy in Fire Opal and this is such a fun, such a fun color. I've worn these on like as a highlighter and then on my eyes. And this is so fun, you guys. Look, like it is absolutely gorgeous. I love, I love it, I love it. It's so, so fun. I love it as a highlighter. I feel like such a fiery, fiery opal shade. It's so beautiful. Um, yeah, I, I tried this recently too and I've been loving the formula. Well, let's release their watermelon collection and I've been just obsessed with these shades. Like, I just absolutely love, look at the bright, Pink is just so pretty, so cute. These are also top free, so that's a good option if you're into that kind of thing. And then the plumping gloss is like my latest obsession. It's so, so yummy. It is so thick. It just plumps, look at the pigment. Like it just, it just plumps up the lips. So good. Do you see that? The product will do that, but I'm not bothered by that. I don't care. I want the plump. I want the juice. Look at that. I want the high shine. I want the color. Like if I didn't have that nude, it, it looks like this, like this in the tube. So cute. I love, I love this product by Lawless. They're so beautiful. So, so beautiful. I'm obsessed with them. So now let's talk about Natasha Denona concealer. And this is so good. So, so good. It has so much coverage of the shade YN9. And it just has so much coverage. But if you apply the right amount, you don't get into trouble of, you know, like getting, like getting a creasy or something like that. I just applied a good amount and I'm good to go. This is such a full coverage concealer. It lasts so good on my under eyes when I reviewed it I did show that I got a few lines up here like creepy lines with the concealer but it was because during the review I did layer two you know like I did two layers of the concealer and that might have been just too much for me after that I just do a one layer you know a little here a little out and I'm good to go this has been so good to me I absolutely love the formula I absolutely love the coverage I absolutely love the color I am just obsessed with this it's so good. I haven't reached for any other concealer by this, except a little bit of the Dior, you know, here and there when I want a little bit more hydration. This I don't find to be hydrating, so keep that in mind. But if you have just normal under eyes or if you do hydrate really well with a cream in the morning, you're good to go with this. It is absolutely good, beautiful, crystalless, perfecting. It just looks very good all day long. I'm wearing it right now and I just I just love the coverage that I get. I don't need more. 
it looks One so size good. I just released his ultra pink powder girl. I've been loving this powder. It is quite pink. I hope you can see actually it's the pinkiest powder that I've ever tried. Uh, I was never into pink powders until I got to try the Givenchy and then I thought, oh, okay, I think I could do this. I'm going to show you. This really perfects my under eye and it just, it blurs everything. Look, look at the difference. Like this is just like deep and sunken. How bright did my under eyes just get? Like how good is this powder? This is so good, it's so, so good. It is very, very brightening. You could totally build it up, you know. You could bake with this. You could like clean up your uh, contour down here. I feel like this is going to work even though it's so pink. Like it really blends so nice into the skin that it doesn't look like too much, like girl, like too much. No, it is so beautiful. I love, I love this powder. I've been loving it ever since I tried it and I wanted to make sure that you know, I mention it um, in this video, even though it's been like a week since I tried it, it is that good. And that's it for today's fits review. I feel like I've talked for ages. I hope that this video is not extremely long and I was able to do one minute review. We'll see when I edit. Um, let me know down in the comments, did you like this kind of video? Did you want to see more of this kind of videos? Any video ideas in general? Have you tried any of these products? Are you excited for any of them? Any comments, anything, friends, just comment below. I love you all so much and I'll catch you next time. Bye.